I think Wanaka and Queenstown are really awesome ski towns because everybody has made an effort to come here for the snow, so everybody's super excited about it and really, really keen to get up there and get outdoors. The energy here is it's undescribable. Everybody is super, super excited to be in the mountains and I, I can't really describe it other than the word frothy. <laughs> Over the last five or more years, they've been doing massive upgrades. They're definitely on par with some of like, the most amazing resorts around the world, you know. We're so lucky to have so much choice. Sometimes it's just hard to choose what mountain to go to. Yeah, I think when we have Wanaka and Queenstown like as such well-developed towns, it makes an ideal environment for athletes. I mean, you look up at Kadrona, we have a world-class half-pipe, world-class slope style. And that it caters to everybody, whether you're an Olympian, whether you're somebody who's here with some mates, or whether you're here with you know, your family and kids. The key difference to the other regions around New Zealand is that we do have these beautiful lakes and we're right in the middle of the Southern Alps, so it's just so unique. The lakes, the fields, the mountains, it's some of the most beautiful terrain in the world. The resorts in the Lakes District are world class. I mean, you could be up at Kadrona skiing with Olympians, or you could be up at Treble Cone and Remarkables skiing with like world champion free riders. It's just incredible the talent that we have around here. For me, definitely my favourite place to ride is the Remarkables. When I get to the top of one of the hikes that I do there regularly, you're greeted with an amazing view of the whole Lake Wakatipu. You can see town, you can see the airport. It's just a really awesome feeling. You can hit the park, you can hit amazing free ride terrain with shoots, so you've got wind lips and lots of jumps, and combine that with a powder day and it's as good as it gets.
Triple Cone is the stunning views. A lot of people arrive there and are really blown away by that. It gets me every time. Been up here since I was one and a half. So, yeah, still pretty beautiful, I'd say that. Second is the terrain. The terrain's absolutely amazing and there's heaps of vertical to ski. One of the really amazing things about Triple Cone is the environment on a powder day. Everybody goes up to the summit rocks together and everybody's cheering for each other and pushing each other and it's a really cool environment to progress in and be a part of. Once you're done riding and spent a day or up on the mountain, there is literally hundreds of options of food and beverage places, bars, nightclubs, casino, discos, whatever. You can do whatever you want, man. Dance the night away. <laughs> Coronet Peak is probably the easiest resort to get to. It's only 20 minutes from Queenstown. And when the sun goes down and the lights come on, it takes on a whole new energy. Travelling from Queenstown towards Canterbury area is an amazing road trip. It's just these rolling farm hills, snow-capped peaks around the place. Sometimes you don't know what to expect and you're greeted with, you know, like something which is even more typical Kiwi was, would be like a farmer herding his sheep or his cattle up the mountain access road. You just have to sit there and wait for him to do his thing because it's his road, <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> The facilities up at Mount Dobson, it's just like your classic club field vibe. You're not really greeted with the stereotypical big base building, big lodge, here we are, this is our whole thing. Just a couple of containers. One of them's the ticket office, one of them is the, uh, the bathroom, one of them is the cafe, you know, it's very, very modest. The club fields are about the people that are at the club fields. It's about the ambiance and the characters. That's the key to the club fields. feel really small out there because you're in the middle of the Southern Alps with these huge mountains surrounding you. On the right of me you can see Mount Cook and Mount Sefton and on the left we've got the East Coast and you can see out to the ocean.
part of the experience is staying up on the mountain. Mount Olympus, for example, you sort of have to ride the nutcrackers up there with all your kit, you know, all your luggage, all your overnight stuff, whatever you're gonna need. You're welcomed into this awesome lodge. Of course, there's a bar and there's a few drinks and there's stories go down in the evenings, fire, guitar, you know, the classic stuff. Yeah, it just creates like a, yeah, awesome, awesome experience. Face shots for breakfast. Yeah. yeah. In Mount Olympus, playground of the gods. Yeah. Anywhere in New Zealand, you're going to get a good welcome, but especially in the, the Canterbury Club Fields area, they are more than welcoming. They're like the, the vibe up there and the stoke of everyone that's there is just. It's insane. We're lucky enough to have club fields real close by in the Canterbury region and Mount Hutt's just a little bit different. Two thousand eighty-six metres above sea level, looking out across the Canterbury Plains, all the way out to the Pacific Ocean, all to Tahi Christchurch right there. Massive wide open terrain, epic grooming, all the way down into the terrain park. You know, it's a place that really feels like home. to put a pin in the middle of the North Island, that, that pin would be on top of the Crater Lake. So Mount Ruapehu sits within the Tongariro National Park, uh, central plateau, middle of the North Island, pretty hard to miss really. Because of its location, it's a great meeting place for everyone to travel to. It's very, very central. The drive up towards Mount Ruapehu from either Oakuni or National Park is unique for New Zealand, but also unique for the central plateau. Kind of native forest, but also kind of very volcanic and rocky. It's like a, yeah, it's a cool combination of rocks and all the native trees that we have here in New Zealand. And then you get up to this huge volcano and you're like, how, how am I experiencing all this incredible scenery in, in one drive? Where are we, man? We're at Pukapapa. The Pinnacles is what that face is called over there. Epic looking terrain. That's a North Island classic, that one. The energy is insane, you know. The feeling I get when I come up here in the morning and as soon as I get on that chairlift and look up, 
I feel this like power being brought into me through this maunga. And I think it's just, uh, you respect him, he will respect you, you know? park here has been built up over the last 20 years. It's a huge point of difference between Tūrō and Whakapapa. It is just actually breathtaking. And, and to know that we have this in our backyard, like this is New Zealand. These are our ski mountains, it's incredible. Three, two, one, Janina dropping. Good. The kid you in. 